Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock options analysis. So let's go over the data as for how the options are looking like on Nvidia going into this week and I will put a confluence together with the technicals and the, um, the price action how it's forming here but i would highly also suggest that if you can go to my channel and check out this video of nvidia that i did yesterday that is this becoming a huge problem for bulls in the price action this will give you a head start into the you know the structure of nvidia already how things are looking like for it going into this week but i'll still provide a very high level uh, glance into you know the the technicals itself so but most of the video will be focused on options itself, what type of options may come to fruition, what type of options may go worthless, and just sharing all in all my opinion, all right? So with that, also please note, none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. Please do your own thing, just sharing here my opinion, nothing more than that. All right, so NVIDIA, as for very high level technicals right off the gate, um, there is a possibility of this becoming a lower pivot here and that would be just with the break and the flush at 123 dollars level and as soon as if that happens then you can expect much more flush going into this next week things overall are looking weak i'm explaining very this thing in that video that i just pointed you to on my channel and uh, that is you know right at this level of 123 flush below that because if buyers though are trying to hold this bullish area like this is the last line of defense 123 and from last three days buyers are coming here and buying however that they, they just don't have enough strength to keep it continuing higher and sellers are pounding it down so most likely it's turning into a lower pivot and and going into next week as if we lose 123 that this can flush to the downside if we regain above 125 area with 200 hours moving average then upside may come but right now there is just much more weakness looks like to me in the price action so that's a high level you know glance into the price action itself let's take a look at how the options data is looking like so black is the last trading day closing price green are the calls red are the puts and the interest is surprisingly still still quite a lot on the call side guys 125 130 135 and 140 out of these 130 has the most calls um so again this is just the traders sentiment where the money is put in put towards bet it doesn't really tell you where the price action is going to go that's what why we do the technicals analysis now here putting the confluence together let's how about we start off with 130 all right that's where the highest spike is right let's see if most of the traders are on even the right direction or what is their chance likelihood of making any money this week so 130 is right over here all right so here's the thing as i just went over on the technical structure that on hourly interval nvidia is being sold off quite a lot below this 200 hours moving average and constantly just even though it's staying above 123 the last area of the structure hold for the bulls but the strength is just not strong enough right now and the sellers are selling it off below 200 hours moving average and uh, you know at this level of 126 area or so forth right so uh, this is where things are being sold off and 123 is the is the area where um, you know once we lose this this is just gonna lose you know uh, if floodgates are going to open so and uh, no 130 right now is not looking promising to me if i take average range what nvidia is doing daily like six dollars which could be you know up or down right uh 130 even though it's just seven dollars away so technically yeah you know if nvidia starts to regain 125 and above again 130 might start to look better but 
not until we even get out of 200 hours moving average. There is a little bit of structure change that NVIDIA has to do to regain you know, direction for the call side of 130 to, to get there. And if NVIDIA has to do 130, we need to see it above at least 125 by Monday or Tuesday close because then it has to also get out of 200 hours moving average resistance. So I, I would... I just don't think, at least for how the price session is looking like right now, that 130 is a possibility. I think it's not a possibility. But it all comes down to if it can regain and close, start closing days above 125 and then 200 hours moving average, then only. But right now, likelihood of that to me looks less. All right, just watching the price action. To me, it still looks like this is going to form a pivot. And right now, the price action is showing as much more downside is a possibility with the break of that $123 level. Let's take a look at, uh, again, guys, anything above 130, like 135 or 140, it all comes down to if it can change this structure. NVIDIA is right now not in that strong bullish structure as for the price action on the lower time frame. How about 125, right? That's where also some spikes are. Also, so, well, so 125, let's bring this line down there. So it's right around the corner though, right? But so if 125 has to happen, it has to happen Monday. You know, Monday will tell you if 125 would happen. If it has, as I said, this could be within the tradable range, all right? Until 200 hours moving average. But if you ask me, what is the is the price action confirming that right now? No, it's not in that direction, but I would not count it out, but only use it as a trading opportunity for options at 125. Don't, well, you can hold if it stays in your direction, but at least for now, it would be mostly just tradable, uh, but price action has to still change the direction back to the upside. But if they, 125 can come, but uh, that will be right now maybe in the tradable uh, position, not in the hold position until expiry, all right? And if it happens, it happens, but for that we have to see the price action change its direction and confirm upside strong again, like above 125 and start closing days above that, right? All right, so those are the calls. So in my opinion, calls are a little bit hard to trade going into this week, but surprisingly, that's where most of the traders' interest is sitting as well. But anyways, price action is not confirming that to me though. Uh, just providing my opinion. Now, guys, before going jumping into the puts, I also want to let you know that if you are interested in following along uh, the journey of dividend investing that I'm building a public facing portfolio, you can find out the details and follow through the videos that I am putting out here on my channel. There is another one coming out this weekend where I'm providing like my portfolio growth, how the dividends are looking like, what am I looking to buy next, and all in all the, the targets that I'm having for myself and my portfolio for the until December and a year out. So everything is here on my channel. Subscribe here if you are interested in following along. Link to it, it will also be in the description of this video. Junior Trader Dividend Investing Channel, okay? Cool. Let's go back here. And let's talk about the puts now. So we have a spike at 115, 120, and 110. How about we start with 120? So going over here, and let me mark this line. 120 is right over here. All right, so what do I think of 120? Well, I think that it's a very likely possibility, yes. So we are right at, so technically structure is weak on intraday as well. And it's all comes down to if we lose 123, 120 is very likely in my opinion, okay? It can happen within a day, pretty much. So yes, very simple. Yes, that's a possibility. How about 115 and 110? So let's, let's go down there. 100 and... 15 um okay so 115 is you know 
Okay, technically it's a possibility, all right, because as we lose 123, 115 is not that far with the average range of $6. And if we stay in this downtrend, 115 is also a possibility. The only thing I would, and if 115 happens, 110 will also happen. The only thing I would want you to be cautious about, this is something I have been talking about on my NVIDIA's technical analysis video, is if I go to the daily interval, if and if bulls wants to still fake out and make Nvidia go up again, they have after losing even 123, right? If bulls can hold a pivot at 119, right, or somewhere around here, anywhere above this low of the red candle, anything above this, if they hold a pivot and take it back again into the blue box that will start to form a higher pivot. That's the only case when this 115 and below will go worthless, the puts. Otherwise, this is very likely possibility. 120 is a very likely possibility. So puts have more um, likelihood of happening than the cause for sure. I'm just providing you cases that if a pivot has to form here, if bulls holds a pivot and back go back into the blue box, then these puts are not happening. That most likely is going to become a pivot. Okay, so technically, one all these things on the downside on the put side is has more likelihood than the calls. All right, and other things as what you have to watch for potential price action change or sentiment shift. I gave you those potential cases. What you have to look for in the price action, right? But Yes, the puts have more likelihood. 115 is a possibility and so is 110. Uh, is a little bit far away, but I would not discount it. But 120 and 115 are very much more likely that may uh, happen on, on NVIDIA. So all in all, uh, my opinion is that even though traders are betting more on the call side, you can see that, but for the calls to come into fruition, uh, Nvidia needs to a little bit change the structure and stay above 123. Otherwise, this flush is just waiting to happen at 123. There's just, in my opinion, a lo lot more weakness building up on the hourly interval, and Nvidia will continue, may continue to the downside. So, in my opinion, there is much more puts that those are playable from $123 down to $117, and then below that is we have to see continuation but this this is the safest area most likely right now as for the price session to play the puts 123 and 117 range and for the calls i would say 125 are the within the tradable range only if we start to go up from here but anything above that is nvidia has to change the really structure getting above 200 hours moving average then only calls will come into play right now as i said i just think i looking at the price session as how it's forming right now uh, the price action is looking like it's weak and will may continue to fall much lower. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe. And if you need access to my tools as well, links are in the description below. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos. Take care. Bye.